So, welcome to lecture number 10 of fuzzy sets, logic and systems and applications. So, this lecture will cover set theoretic operations on fuzzy sets. In today's lecture, we will discuss following operations on fuzzy sets. These operations are complement, union, intersection and difference. And before introducing these operations on fuzzy sets, let us first understand the notations that we use in set theory. And uh, if we see here, these are the notations that are used in set theory. Like uh, if we have two sets A and B here and which consist of the collection of uh, some elements in the universe of discourse capital X, the set theory notations are as follows. So, if we see here x belongs capital X, this means x belongs to x. Similarly, here this is for x belongs to A and uh, here x does not belong to A. Here A is fully contained in B and here a is contained in B and equivalent to B. And uh, of course, uh, here A is equal to B. Phi here represents the null or empty set. So, before uh, we move to set theoretic operations, uh, we have two notions of uh, two notions that we will be uh, discussing here. The first notion is equality and the second notion here is the containment of sets or subset. So, let us now first discuss the equality. So, equality of fuzzy sets uh, is very important. Uh, like when can we say two fuzzy sets are equal? So, here the point that needs to be noted is that even when we have the any fuzzy set, the generic variable values remains the same in both the sets. The the sets may not be equal because for equality their membership, their corresponding membership values also need to be equal. So, that is how it is written here. If A and B are two fuzzy sets and if we say these are equal A and B. So, if they we can say they are equal. So, this equality can be possible only when their corresponding membership values are also equal. So, let us uh, uh, look at this example to better understand. So, if we have two fuzzy sets A and B and uh, these A uh, fuzzy sets are discrete fuzzy sets. This A fuzzy set which is discrete fuzzy set, this B fuzzy set which is uh, again a discrete fuzzy set. So, let us now look at these fuzzy sets and their uh, uh, you know the fuzzy elements. So, uh, it means the generic variable values and uh, the membership values corresponding membership values. So, let us now look at these and uh, see whether A and B both are equal or not. So, if we see here for A uh, generic variable A generic variable uh, the first generic variable is 1 and the corresponding membership value is 0 0.7. 
So, now uh, if we see the first element here in B also uh, this is same means we have generic variable 1 and the corresponding membership value is 0.7. So, it means we have the generic variable values for the same generic variable values we have the same membership values. Similarly, if we look at all the uh, uh, elements of A and then we look at all the elements of B. So, we see that we have exactly equal membership values for the uh, generic variable values. So, this way we find this relation is satisfied means that you know mu a x is equal to mu b and uh, again this is needless to say that all x all the generic variable values must belong to the universe of discourse within which we are working. So, this way uh, fuzzy set A and fuzzy set B both can be said to be equal. Now, if we take two continuous fuzzy sets and let us see whether these two fuzzy continuous fuzzy sets are equal or not. So, here we have this fuzzy set A and the other one is B. So, we see that although A and B in between A and B the generic variable values remain the same, but the corresponding, but their corresponding membership values are not same, not equal. So, if we take any point, if we take a point B 1 in between A C and then if we take uh, some point B 1 here uh, in between A C. So, we see that here the corresponding membership value the membership value corresponding to B 1 in uh, fuzzy set B is not equal to 1 is not equal to 1 means the this is the membership value corresponding the generic variable value B 1. Whereas, here we can write this as mu B x. So, we can clearly see that uh, for the same generic variable values B 1 in both the fuzzy sets the mu a x is not equal to mu b x. So, instead of x here because we are taking x is equal to b 1. So, I think we need to we need to write here b 1. So, this way we can clearly see that the these two fuzzy sets are not equal. And uh, if we take a point B 2 here in fuzzy set uh, uh, B and if we take the same fuzzy set here uh, uh, we take a uh, 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 same uh, point B 2 here in between A to C. So, we see here that in uh, fuzzy set A the corresponding membership value is less than is less than 1 or we can say it is not equal to 1. So, this is mu A x. So, this way we see uh, for the same generic variable values in both the sets the their corresponding membership values are not equal. So, that way we can say a fuzzy set A 
and B are not equal. Now, the containment or sub, uh, uh, subset of a fuzzy set. So, fuzzy set B, if we take the same example, uh, if we take uh, two fuzzy sets A and B, so the containment can be defined as the if we have uh, in fuzzy sets A and B, we follows uh, uh, the membership values follow this condition, we can say the uh, fuzzy set B contains fuzzy set A. So, if we have any two fuzzy set A and B and their corresponding membership values follow this condition means mu of A, mu A of x is less than or equal to mu b of x for every x that belongs to the universe of discourse capital X. So, then if this case is uh, if this is the case if this condition is followed we can say that A is contained in B. So, the fuzzy set A is contained in B. Now, let us uh, understand this uh, a little bit uh, uh, more clearly uh, with this example. So, we have here a diagram and in this diagram we have three fuzzy sets. So, here we have the fuzzy set A which is shown by uh, the green line I mean uh, in green color, the B fuzzy set is shown in blue color and C fuzzy set is shown in uh, the red color. So, by just looking at it we can clearly say that all the membership values corresponding to the generic variables in A uh, in C uh, is less than their uh, corresponding uh, membership values uh, less than uh, the uh, membership values corresponding to the generic variable values of B and A. So, this way we can say that fuzzy set A contains B C, B and C fuzzy set this is also this is fuzzy set this is fuzzy set, these two are fuzzy sets. And we can also say that here that fuzzy set B does not contain A. So, if we compare fuzzy set B and fuzzy set A, we can clearly uh, see here that uh, the membership values corresponding to their, their generic variable values in both the cases, if we compare then the membership values of B fuzzy set are less than uh, membership values of A. So, that way we can say fuzzy set B does not contain A. So, let us now take uh, an example here to understand the containment or the subset of a fuzzy set better. So, in this example here we have two fuzzy sets, the first fuzzy set is the two discrete fuzzy sets basically and uh, the first fuzzy set is A and the second fuzzy set is B. So, these two fuzzy sets we see we have the elements here and the generic variables value generic variable values 1, 2, 3, 4 and their corresponding membership values. So, in both the fuzzy sets we have same generic variable values 1, 2, 3, 4, but uh, the membership values are different. 
So, uh, if we see uh, clearly uh, uh, the membership values. So, membership values of uh, A fuzzy sets are lesser than that of B for respective member uh, uh, generic variable values. So, that is how we can say mu a x is less than mu b x. So, this means the uh, the membership values in fuzzy set a are less than the membership values in fuzzy set b for corresponding generic variable values. And of course, this is needless to say that all these x, the generic value uh, generic variable values, they all belong to the universe of discourse. So, uh, this way we can say that A is contained inside B or we can say A is contained in B. Uh, here we have uh, another example and uh, we see again two discrete fuzzy sets A and B and just by looking at uh, the generic uh, variable values and their corresponding membership uh, values, we see that mu A x is not less than or equal to mu b for the generic variable value x is equal to 3. So, if we look at b here, b member uh, b fuzzy set and a fuzzy set. So, if we look at these elements, we compare these elements uh, generic variable values remain again the same 1, 2, 3, 4 in both the fuzzy sets, but their corresponding membership function membership function values or membership values are different. So, uh, here for x is equal to 3 for the membership uh, for the generic variable value 3, uh, the membership value in the corresponding membership value in for G set A is more than that of the membership value in B. So, that that is why we can say that uh, this condition is not satisfied means mu A x is not less than or equal to mu B for all x's. And uh, this is one of the generic variable value x is equal to 3, which violates otherwise uh, if for x is equal to 3, the this value uh, the corresponding value of membership would be equal or the less uh, 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 in A than B we would have said that a, a, a b is uh, containing a or a is contained in b. So, since at x is equal to 3 it is violated, we can clearly say that a is not contained in b and uh, mathematically we can represent this by uh, a is equal to a is not contained in B. Now, let us discuss the set theoretic, op set theoretic operations on fuzzy sets and these set theoretic operations are complement, union, intersection and difference. So, since uh, these operations we are interested in uh, applying on fuzzy sets. So, before we move to uh, uh, these operations on fuzzy sets, we would be uh, discussing uh, these operations 
on crisp sets or classical sets uh, and then we will transition from classical sets to the fuzzy sets with respect to these uh, operations set theoretic operations to understand the, the set theoretic operations on fuzzy sets uh, better. So, let us now first understand what do we mean by the complement of a classical set. So, if we have a classical set it is represented by A, uh, we represent a complement of this classical set by A bar and uh, this can be represented here mathematically as A bar is equal to the collection of all the uh, elements such that these elements are not belonging into A. So, let us now understand the complement of a classical set. So, in this uh, diagram here we see a classical set which is continuous and uh, this is uh, uh, right from 1 to 3. So, as uh, it was just defined, uh, if we are interested in finding the complement of a classical set A, we represent this by A bar and this A bar will be the collection of all the points that are in the universe of discourse excluding the points that are coming into excluding the elements that are there in set A. So, if we look at uh, this set which is a classical set, so here we see that there in the, this is a continuous set. So, here there are points which are right from starting right from 1, 2, 3 are covered and uh, if we have some universe of, of discourse, so we exclude these points and we take all the points which are contained which are there in the universe of discourse. So, if we do that we will get the complement of A like this and we see that this is uh, the points which are there in the A are excluded. So, this is this part is excluded. So, this way we find uh, the complement of uh, classical set A. Now, uh, if we are interested in finding a complement of uh, fuzzy set. So, the complement of fuzzy set A is a fuzzy set that is also represented by A bar and of course, here that uh, we have the universe of discourse x and uh, in fuzzy set also we uh, take all the points, all the elements uh, you know, but with this condition which is mentioned here. So, uh, fuzzy set uh, if we have a fuzzy set A and then the complement of fuzzy set A will have its membership values corresponding to the generic variable values which will be uh, defined as mu A bar x. So, you see here mu A bar x and all the corresponding membership values will be subtracted from 1. So, all the corresponding membership values of A fuzzy set will be subtracted from 1. So, this way if we follow we get the membership values corresponding to complement fuzzy set and uh, we can say that complement of a fuzzy set should contain all the elements along with their membership values from the universe of 
discourse. So, to understand the complement of a fuzzy set better, let us uh, take this example. Here we have a fuzzy set A and please note that this fuzzy set here, this fuzzy set is a continuous fuzzy set, is a continuous fuzzy set. So, we have here the this 0. So, uh, right from 0 to 3 this fuzzy set is uh, uh, spreading and we have varied membership values also like uh, at 0 we have uh, membership value 1 and uh, at 3 we have membership value uh, 0. So, if we follow uh, this criteria like uh, complement uh, fuzzy set A bar its uh, membership values will be computed as 1 minus mu A x for every x belonging into the universe of discourse. So, if we do that we are going to get A bar like this. So, we can clearly see here that at 3 at the generic variable value 3 in A we have mu x 0. So, instead of mu x I will be writing mu 3 mu 3 and since this belongs to the fuzzy set A we will write mu A 3 is equal to 0. Now, if we look at the fuzzy set A bar which is complement of a fuzzy set. So, if we look at this uh, generic variable value 3. So, this is mu b 3 is equal to 1. So, likewise if we check at all the points all the generic variable values we will get to see that this follows the membership value follows membership values of A bar follow this condition 1 minus mu A x and this is for all the for every x belonging to the universe of discourse. Similarly, if we take an example with uh, two discrete fuzzy sets. So, if we have a fuzzy set uh, A which is here and if we are interested in finding the, the complement of this fuzzy set we can clearly use the criteria as I just uh, uh, mentioned and uh, we get the complement of a fuzzy set. So, this is complement of A this is complement of fuzzy set A. Similarly, this is complement of fuzzy set A and similarly if we take this fuzzy set B we can get the complement of fuzzy set here and please note that the universe of discourse here is given and uh, this is uh, this contains 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we are excluding all other values except uh, the other than a 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this way we find uh, uh, complement of fuzzy set B. So, this will be the complement of fuzzy set B. So far in this lecture we have uh, covered the notions that means the equality and uh, containment or subsets used in the fuzzy set theory and uh, complement operations on fuzzy sets. So, in the remaining uh, fuzzy set theoretic operations will be discussed in the next lecture.